We're talking about the clouds and temperatures that are chilly. Uh, certainly very chilly this morning will be colder tonight, so let's get to it. want to show you what it looks like outside. And uh, gray is the short answer there. We do have mostly cloudy skies. It's an, in Central Park, which is what we knew. We knew that we would see mostly cloudy skies today. Right now, 52 degrees. The winds are out of the west at 10 miles per hour. So what we have are temperatures that are, you know, fairly uniform and fairly chilly across the tri-state area. Most are in the low to mid 50s right now, 46 for Monticello, so one exception, but everybody else in the low to mid 50s, and it doesn't get much warmer than this today. We're almost at our high temperature, and these numbers are anywhere from, you know, four to eight degrees cooler right now than it was this time yesterday, and that's the trend. The trend is that we're seeing cooler and cooler air, and that'll be the case for the majority of the work week. So it's a November chill. Uh, it really starts Starts today. Well, if you count the weekend, it started yesterday with falling temperatures, uh, but we'll see temps 5 to 10 degrees below average and then high temps of 50s, but for some 40s. That's by the time we get to Thursday. And uh, we're going to see overnight lows in the 30s, but some will be in the 20s. So get ready to bundle up if you're, especially if you're going to be outside very early or very late. For tonight, we expect temperatures to drop far enough that we'll have some frost and freeze alerts that will go into effect. So in and around New York City, this does not apply to you. Same for Long Island, no alerts there. But everything you see in blue is a frost advisory. Everything in purple, a freeze warning. So that's what we have tonight into early Wednesday. As far as this afternoon is concerned, we're talking about the clouds, but also a chance for rain. So you can see it here. A lot of this is not making it to the ground, but some is. So a little bit of drizzle, a little bit of light rain, and it's primarily south and east of New York City. So New York City points south and east. I think you can see this is where the bulk of the moisture is. So we're sort of on the fringe of it there. So if you have an umbrella, not a bad idea. And if you're leaving the house, not a bad idea to pick it up. Uh, uh, and that'll serve you well this afternoon. But overall, not going to be a big rain event. We turn on your future cast. We go through. You can see this is certainly not a big rain event, thankfully. But it is going to continue to be mostly cloudy. We watch a lot of that cloud cover move out overnight tonight. By tomorrow, clear skies. So that means plenty of sunshine for your Wednesday. It does not equal warmer temperatures. The temperatures will, in fact, continue to fall. Even on Thursday when we see partly cloudy skies. But we do have a chance for rain again late Thursday into Friday. So slight chance of showers today slight chance again late Thursday into Friday and then this weekend we fall back Saturday night we turn the clocks back one hour and so sunset on Sunday will be at 4 45 p.m. that means yeah this is the time of year where it gets dark before 5 p.m. here's a look at your seven-day forecast temps pretty chilly especially overnight um, but overall not a terrible week just yeah. a very chilly yeah. week that 4 45 on Sunday I know is it's going a, to be it's brutal. a smack upside brutal. the head all right Elise thank you so much